Hi, welcome to SolarTechDIY.com. This is Patrick again. What I just showed you in the previous video was how to determine the exact length to cut tabbing wire strips for use with a 3 inch by 6 inch polycrystalline solar cell. What I'm going to show you now is where to make the tension spring bend in your individual tabbing wire strips. What is a tension spring, you might ask? As the solar cells sit in their enclosure, day in, day out, uh, inside the solar cell, or inside the solar panel itself, these are dark colored wafers, and as we know, dark colors that sit in the sun, they heat up. So, these cells get very, very warm in the sunshine. If you live in Arizona or some desert environment, you can bet the inside of your solar panel may achieve temperatures close to 200, possibly even 200, in excess of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So, what happens is in the extreme temperatures, the contents inside the solar panel will expand and contract in direct relation to the external temperature. We'll talk later about how temperature extremes affect solar panel performance, and you can imagine it's not good, but there's a specific formula I will share with you where you can determine exactly what effect temperature will have. Now, we need to know where to put the spring bend in the tabbing wire so that the bend occurs on the open space between the cells. We need our bend to be somewhere over the edge of the solar cell. If we try and eyeball it, we aren't going to be very accurate. So what we do is we use our square again. We loosen the knob to allow for easy movement. You want it to slide pretty easy because you set the handle down, which contains the level. Place it against the edge of the solar cell and you simply slide the ruler portion back until it is just slightly, a millimeter, over the far edge of the solar cell. And the reason you do that is because the bend consumes just a, a millimeter extra of the tabbing wire. So if you don't measure it so that the spring bend occurs over the solar cell, your bend will occur on top of the solar cell, which creates a problem when you're attempting to solder that tabbing wire strip to the bus bar. You want no imperfections at all. It needs to lay perfectly flat. So if you had a, a bend that was sitting, say, on the inside of the solar cell, uh, you might compromise the uh, conductive properties of the cell. So, now that we have our measurements, we know where to make our bend. You want to tighten the tool back up so it doesn't move on you. Now we've already measured where to make our cut on the tabbing wire. So we simply make our cut and then execute the bend, which we will do now. Okay. I cut it off camera just to be speedy. So I'm going to place my tabbing wire on the level. Okay, we can see it's metal on metal, so it's a little tough. But just as we made our bend using our finger when we determined the initial length, we're going to do the same. We now have our bend. You can see the wire. Now we just want to make the bend sharp. 
bend it completely in half, align them so the top and bottom are aligned, then spread it out. Lay it down and we have our crease. Compare it to the solar cell and there we have it. Nicely done.